well, <clears throat> I'm here in upstate New York and uh, sort of, I wouldn't call it a restore, but I'm going to paint my boat. And uh, I basically got it all prepped to paint. And yesterday I filmed all, everything to show you guys. And uh, I was filming in 4K, which I didn't realize only had 12 frames per second. So uh, what I'll do is I'll edit in some of the work I did so you guys can see how to prep your boat, your aluminum boat for painting. Uh, I just, you know, I, here's my boat and it's really a piece of crap. So I really do not want to spend a lot of time or money on any kind of restoration. And when I was doing research, I found that, uh, <clears throat> like, a lot of the posts were older posts from, like, 2012. I couldn't really find anything more recent than 2012 on how to restore an aluminum boat. And they were, some of them were making it really, it was really intricate steps. And uh, I really didn't want to spend more than 24 hours uh, if I had two sunny days. So, and then a lot of the instructions were calling for like degreasing it with certain solutions and then washing it with, and then power washing it, and then washing it with soap and water, and then putting on an etch coat by your, separately, and then putting on a prime coat, and then painting. Uh, I really didn't want to do all that. Um, and I wasn't going to paint it, but I went to the store. And, and when I was doing this re the research, I was like, it's 2017, there's gotta be an etch primer and paint all in one. And I went to Home Depot and they had uh, they had an etch and primer in one. So I figured what the, and you know, with that and the paint, it was like 40 bucks. So I said, you know what, I'll do it. And uh, I got it all prepped up and I'll, I'll show you here in a minute what I've done. Um, the inside's kind of hard to tell, but I, I sort of blasted this out with a iron scrub drill bit. Um, all this right here, this all has flex seal over it, so I didn't bother doing this. And if you look right here, I know it looks like crap, but the paint's holding pretty well to most of this. So it's really just in this area right here, but it's all down. I couldn't, you can see it's like worn and eaten into the aluminum, so I couldn't clean it. I, I probably do need a certain solution for that. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen when I paint it. Uh, See, I just blasted it right down as far as I could. And then this all has flex seal all around it, so the the paint will spawn to the flex seal, so I'm not worried about that. Um, and you can see I got like all this, this uh, whoever owned the boat before me like really did a job here. And this is all I friggin' this is like bond. This is like this all feels like latex. I chipped as much of that away as I could. <clears throat> and then, well, it's hard to see, but I mean, it, it was hard to blast. It really just didn't want to come off. And I'll get up close, you can see, it gets right into the aluminum. And so a lot of that dirt and grime in there, I can't get out. So we'll see what happens, but there's gonna be a deck from here to here. And uh, I'll flip it over quick and show you what I did to the, uh, the hull. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna do this black. The exterior is gonna be black. The interior will be silver, and I'll probably put a blue carpet over the deck. So it'll look pretty good when it's done. But uh, so far, what I've done is just I got it. I power washed it, and then I, if you want to use soap and water, go ahead. I don't know if you're gonna blast the crap out of it. Like most of the paint stayed on pretty well. So I'm not worried about this. I'm just gonna throw paint over this. It'll hold oil paint. You don't wanna do latex, you're gonna do oil paint. Uh, but most of it, I'd say 75% of the paint is bought is, is holding on really well. So I'm not I'm not too worried. You can see here I I blasted these rails. And I, I'm debating about whether or not to paint these rails, I might just leave them the aluminum color. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm gonna decide after I paint the exterior what I wanna do with these. I can just blast them a little more carefully. 
Uh, but anyways, I don't know what I was saying. Um, yeah, so, so power wash, blast. If you wanted, uh, don't use, uh, that's what I was saying. So a lot of the instructions on the internet and in the forums, they call for washing it with soap and water to get the grease and grime off. I don't know, I sandblasted mine, or not sandblasted, but I wire brush blasted mine. And uh, I don't know, I, I, and what I used was an SOS pad. I wouldn't recommend that because it left this real soapy residue that I was really hard to get off the boat. So if you're gonna paint it, I wouldn't do that. So I'm not sure how that's gonna affect the paint. Um, and then I just blasted it with the wire brush. And I gotta vacuum all this crap out. And I'm, I'm almost ready to start etching. I'm gonna etch the hole. I'll turn the hole over and show you what I did. Because that's where the, the biggest, you'll see the biggest, this is the most significant uh, difference. But, all right, hold on. So this is what I spent most of my time doing yesterday. I just scraped it right down, blasted it down to the bare aluminum. Um, and I'm gonna etch this today, just where the paint isn't holding. Like you can see here, the paint's holding really good right there, so I'm just gonna paint over that. And then, uh, this is all gonna get scratched to hell anyways. Um, but then I gotta etch where the aluminum is bare here too. Uh, I'll spray paint the etch. And then once that's dry, I hope it won't be longer than an hour. Once that's dry, I can, uh, I could throw on paint because it'll be primed as well. What I didn't want to do was, I ain't, ain't nobody got time for a two week restoration on a boat that's 50 years old like this that has a bunch of holes in it. It's not really worth it to me. But the etching primer in one will save a lot of time. That won't take more. That, I don't know, I, that might not take long to dry at all. It's, the other one's warm, the sun's out. Um, so I, I'm thinking like an hour maybe it'll dry. Well, <clears throat> I'm here in upstate New York and uh, sort of, I wouldn't call it a restore, but I'm gonna paint my boat. And uh, I basically got it all prepped to paint. And yesterday I filmed all, everything to show you guys and uh, I was filming in 4k which I didn't realize only had 12 frames per second so uh, what I'll do is I'll edit in some of the work I did so you guys can see how to prep your boat your aluminum boat for painting uh, I just you know I, here's my boat and it's really a piece of crap so I really do not want to spend a lot of time or money on any kind of restoration and when I was doing re well <clears throat> I'm here in upstate New York and uh, sort of wouldn't call it a restore but I'm gonna paint my boat and uh, I basically got it all prepped to paint and yesterday I filmed all, everything to show you guys and uh, I was filming in 4K, which I didn't realize only had 12 frames per second. So uh, what I'll do is I'll edit in some of the work I did so you guys can see how to prep your boat, your aluminum boat for painting. Uh, I just, you know, I, here's my boat and it's really a piece of crap. So I really do not want to spend a lot of time or money on any kind of restoration. And when I was doing research, I found that uh, <clears throat> like a lot of the posts were older posts from like 2012. I couldn't really find anything more recent than 2012 on how to restore an aluminum boat. And they were, some of them were making it really, it was really intricate steps. And uh, I really didn't want to spend more than 24 hours uh, if I had two sunny days. So, and then a lot of the instructions were calling for like 
degreasing it with certain solutions and then washing it with and then power washing it and then washing it with soap and water and then putting on an etch coat by your, separately and then putting on a prime coat and then painting uh, I really didn't want to do all that um, and I wasn't going to paint it but I went to the store and and when I was doing this re the research I was like it's 2017 there's got to be an etch primer and paint all in one and I went to Home Depot and they had uh, they had an etch and primer in one so I figured what the and you know with that and the paint it was like 40 bucks so I said you know what I'll do it and uh, I got it all prepped up and I'll I'll show you here in a minute what I've done um, the inside's kind of hard to tell but I, I sort of blasted this out with a iron scrub drill bit um, all this right here this all has flex seal over it so I didn't bother doing this and if you look right here I know it looks like crap but the paint's holding pretty well to most of this so it's really just in this area right here but it's all down I couldn't you can see it's like worn and eaten into the aluminum so I couldn't clean it I, I probably do need this but up here it looks pretty good I, mean, I don't know I've never done this before so I don't know if I'll need another coat or not I don't really want to, it means at least two more cans. I'd say three cans to be safe. And another three cans of the interior. I don't want to do that. It's just as long as the bare aluminum's covered up, I'm happy. I think I did. A pretty good job. I don't really want to do any more. I don't know. I might have to go buy more cans just to be safe. six more cans I think they're like six bucks another 40 bucks I should have enough paint I'm not really worried about the paint this is really it but I want to make sure I do a good job I might just go now just let this dry put on another coat Exterior. Actually, I'm probably gonna get right here. I'll do a little bit more. I didn't blast it, so I don't know. This is stupid. I just got tired, man. It's like so much time. I don't want to put into it. This is about more than two and a half cans just to do the exterior. See, like right here, there's a little bit of aluminum, but I I feel like I got most of the aluminum, bare aluminum covered. There aren't many spots it's just wet so I think we're gonna just start painting I don't I'll let it dry and oh my god officer safety I got contacts in. So I'm obviously going to need another coat. I've only done not even half the boat. The brush. If you're doing this yourself, you might want to consider your roller. It looks like it was shedding up here. It looks like it was the only place it was really shedding bad, though. Uh, and that's where I first started. So. Um, but I'm gonna, you can see where it's, 
it's not holding up well here. And here, I'm definitely gonna have to put a second coat on. Um, and I only bought a quart, so that's just the exterior. So if, if you're gonna paint the whole thing, you might as well get a gallon. If you're gonna paint the whole thing the same color, get a gallon of the same color. Uh, but I gotta do two quarts here, and I'll probably have to go get two quarts uh, for my interior as well. So uh, I'm just gonna keep on painting. Hopefully finish, I gotta finish this, the seams. And I think I'm gonna leave the rails alone and then I gotta do the back. And, but, and you can see, it's, it's taking a while to dry. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm running out of uh, memory, so I'm just gonna. Hey, I just wanna show you guys something. If you're doing this, you might wanna think about doing the seams first, because they're a pain. It's really hard to roll them. So, lay it on thick on the seams. Like what I'll do is, I'm out of paint right now, but I'm painting right here. You know, I'm, getting it, I'm laying it on real thick and I'll do it all the way. And then I'll go get more paint and I'm doing it right here. Like along, right there along that, that edge. And I'm laying it on real thick, that way I don't have to do two coats. And then all I have to do is roll. So I would recommend doing that first. Um, I think it'll save you a lot of time. You just lay it on nice and thick, do all the seams. And then, uh, and then you can roll, and rolling won't, you know, doesn't take rolling doesn't take that long, especially when you when you have a like this, it's done out to here in two coats. So, all right, I gotta get, put you down now. All right, Marlo Doyle, just got two coats on. I gotta put one more coat on, like right through here, and then right here. But I got I doubled up through there. Uh, you know, all the, you know, once again, I, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time or money. So I got, after I do, after I do the last coat on the back, I'll have about a quarter of a quart left. And that it's for like touch-ups because I gotta flip it over and I'll put it back on the trailer. Once it dries, I'll put it back on the trailer and I'll touch up any spots I miss because I don't know what it looks like right side up. Um, so that second coat went on a lot quicker than I thought it would. I, I didn't really, I, it, honestly I tried not to paint it a lot. I just kind of threw it on where, especially right here because this is, this will be, scene i don't care as much up here because all this is going to get scuffed up from the rocks and the in the trailer um but i made sure to double up down here really well and then up here i kind of just threw it on and rolled it as quick as i could but uh so if you're gonna do so that was almost it's gonna be two quarts basically to do the exterior and um I'm gonna do the interior in aluminum color. That'll probably just as much surface area, if not more, um, because of the seats. So, you know, if you're gonna go one color, you're looking at a gallon. If you just if you're just doing a, you know, spray and pray. But if you want to get real detailed, you might want to get more. If you want to put a third coat on, you're gonna need more than a gallon. Uh, so I'm gonna let this dry. I gotta do the back. The back should dry soon. I'll throw a second coat on the back quick. And I gotta let the whole thing dry for an hour or two. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna start getting measurements for the deck. And then I gotta paint the interior. I gotta figure out what my father wants to do, if he can help me tonight or not. If he can't help me, I'm gonna paint the interior. If he can, then I gotta get busting on the, uh, on the deck so anyways I hope that helps so so far I've been through three and a half cans of etching primer in one just to do you know 50% of the exterior so you might want to look at towards 
if you got a lot to if you got a lot of bare aluminum you have to etch you gotta you, know, you might want to start thinking about a uh you know the the etch alone the, or if they have an etch in primer paint you might want to think about a ga- uh, you know at least a half gallon of that to prime it two quarts um so I'm just trying to, you know, I've never done this, and I, I didn't think all the, there were only one or two on YouTube videos of how to paint the aluminum boat that I thought were some of my good. Uh, so I'm just trying to help you guys out as far as measurements. I would, I would get right now, I'll tell you, I would get wide brushes. I would get the widest brush you can, honestly, just to save you time and that medium roller was okay. I think I'm not really sure if a larger roller would have helped, but uh, that was okay. I wouldn't go smaller than that. Which unfortunately, I'm going smaller for the interior. You can see that roller. It's the only one I have. Uh, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna get going. I hope this helps and uh, keep you updated as I go along. Thanks. Okay, YouTube. What's going on? Definitely tired. Hopefully I don't have any. What's going on YouTube? There's a boat. It's early. Well, it's not that early, but I'm working hard on the boat for long hours. I'm tired. <sighs> I don't know. But you can definitely see where I put the second coat on, where I rolled the second coat, where I didn't up here. What I might have to do is just, I've got enough paint left where I could just, I'd just do this section because this is all above water. Just do, and I really wouldn't have to roll the middle, I just have to do the top and the bottom. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's just weird that you can do that. It, My boat's gonna just look. And what I might do is just see if there's like a marine paint I can buy and just put it on the top layer right here. Cause that's all I care about. I really don't care. I could care less what happens down there. Uh, but this top layer, I sort of kind of want to look nice. So I don't know, and then I screw this up. I gotta paint over that. There. Morning. Morning, neighbor. So the boat's done. It's painted. It's painted. I'll show it to you. I can't bring it outside because obviously all these cars are here, but so you have to see it in low light. But uh painted the interior aluminum. A little shiny. I think green would have been better, but whatever. It's all, you know, I did it. It's not perfect. I missed the spot here. I didn't even bother in there. You see the spots I missed, but I don't care. I just don't care. The deck's gonna come out to here anyways most of the time. You can see like under here, I didn't even bother. I just I had a really bad headache and I just, I just wanted to go to bed, but it's done. Uh, so the interior with the aluminum, the Rust-Oleum, aluminum, protective enamel, oil-based, was the interior. That was only, I didn't even use a full court. I only put one coat on, but I don't think it really needs another coat. You know? It scuffs up easily. So let's see. I don't know. My father said that, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of paint you get, it's gonna happen. I don't know, maybe there's a special marine paint. He's saying like, if you get stuff for concrete like this, like this paint, it might be a little more durable. 
but uh, maybe there's marine paint. I don't know. You want to look into that, but court did my interior. So I had a court. It was ten bucks of the Rust-Oleum. Two quarts for the exterior. Oh, also, uh, the roller I used, which I don't have, I threw out, so I don't even know what it was. But it was a lot better than for the interior roller than the exterior roller I had. I don't know why, but this put it on more roughly, I would say, more of a matte finish, whereas the exterior just went on smooth. Uh, so I kind of like that. That's kind of what I wanted for the outdoor, for the exterior. Um, so if you don't know about rollers, you might want to, you better ask somebody at Home Depot. Uh, and sort of, you know, let them tell you. If you don't care, just do whatever, I guess. Uh, so I used... For, for the etch and primer all in one, the Rust-Oleum. Etch and primer. Oh, this, is, this isn't the right stuff. This is filler primer. Never mind. I don't even have the cans. Oh, I threw them all out. But it was Rust-Oleum etch and primer. I use five. No, I use six cans. I use six cans for the interior and exterior and not all of it was bare aluminum just on the bare aluminum and those are five dollars a piece so that's 30 bucks I use three quarts of paint which are 10 bucks each so that's another 30 bucks that's 60 bucks and then let's say 10 bucks each for uh, for the rollers, the cans, and the brushes. Say 10 bucks each on those. But you might want to consider buying buying them separately so you can get bigger brushes. I would just, I would recommend a bigger brush with a better roller. Uh, so you might want to upgrade on those. But those are 10 bucks each, so that's 20. That's, we're up to $80 now. Um, so $80 to, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I used. Uh, you need tape if you want to you're gonna need tape but that's cheap that's like four or five bucks so 85 bucks I can't really think of anything else that I use just to paint the boat um, you'll need wire a wire brush blaster or some kind of sand blaster but I would just use the wire brush uh, I'm thinking about getting like white cursive letters sort of or like a the stickers with a first extent. And I put the Marlo Doyle right here on each side. I'm thinking about doing that. I don't know if that's too tacky or not. But, so that's it. So it was like 85 bucks, so it was under 100 bucks. And well, I don't know how it holds up. I'll, I'll post other videos to keep you guys updated as far as like durability and if the paint washes away in the water. Uh, but for right now it was 85 bucks. I can't, unless if there's, I'll edit it in. If I can think of anything else I bought, I'll edit it in. Um, now my next project is I put this deck on. I just bought carpet. I'll glue the deck on and carpet it on. I gotta put doors in here. So that's my next step. So, uh, you see all the spots I missed? I don't know what the hell happened right here. I thought I did that really well. But whatever, the engine's gonna be sitting over right here, so I don't care. I just don't care. I put enough time in this boat. I'm talking, so, so it's $85, so it's under 100 bucks. And then, but it was a lot of hours. It was like Thursday from like, I don't know, one to nine, all day Friday. And I painted, Saturday it was, so you're looking like 12, 18, you're looking right around 24 hours altogether. That's what it took me anyways. 
I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. All right, so I got to get going on my deck.